So K Pan and Stingers, two of the top players uh, in Georgia and North Carolina, respectively. We've really got a lot of good matches coming. Up. Stingers took a game off uh, off East and then uh, K Pan took a game off Red. Yeah. So, I mean, they invested three, oh, so wow. getting as close as they could. Red doing a really good job getting these grabs immediately. Uh, and then, yeah, lasers. You know, Red, like, that's definitely the standard. You know, Mango always said the problem he had with Armada's uh, P just when he wasn't going to be ready to run away in laser. Yeah. yeah so that's definitely sense. what you want to do. Really just tack on that damage. You know, 100 to 2, that's where the Fox wants to be. Exactly. And uh, he can he can go for, you know, downers into a lot of different things now. Okay. So Mike G currently lives with an old school player named Ziff and Hungry Box right now. Ziff or Zeph? Ziff. X I F. X I F. Okay. Uh, he used to be in Florida too, right? Ziff. Yeah, okay. Ziff used to live in Florida. Um, Alex Campus. Shout out to Alex Campus. So that means you know Mike G probably getting some you know especially with playing Hungry really living with Hungry Box so. probably getting some you know pretty good practice. I believe Ziff is a Peach player, and then uh, Hungry Box everybody knows. Him. Yeah. If you don't know who Hungrybox is and you're watching this, well, go look up Hungrybox on YouTube. Yeah. Dash attack up there. Really, up really nice up there. Yeah. Had a full 100% lead at the end of that stock. It was 124 yeah. to 24. Red doing a Red great really putting in work. Yeah, doing a great job of running around, just not, you know, exploiting the mobility strength that Fox. Ooh, oh, Red. Stitch Face. Seriously really disappointed. You can see him on the stream. Look yep. at his face. You know, leaning back, he up. knows that. He had a solid lead and then just kind of yeah. taken away a little bit. I mean, he still, he still has a pretty solid lead. He oh, could, wow. That's super unfortunate. I had to hit him with The, the yeah. life on the stitch just ran out before it would have hit him. Red does pretty well against Peach, though, it, it, it seems. He, uh, he beat our resident Peach, uh, per throw. And, you know, he's uh, had plenty hard. of practice yeah. against uh, DOH, Darkness of Heart. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, not not too active outside of the MVVA, MVV region, but definitely still a Peach as a force to be reckoned with. Uh, got top at least top 64 at Big House. Oh, wow. Yeah. But uh, Mike G doing pretty well with the stock. Uh, keeping it keeping it even in percent, but one stock behind. You know, still... You're still dying early. Yeah. Red still's got plenty of stock to work with. That is the peach struggle against Fox, though. Sometimes you just die. And Red can't, like, he knows he's done. Maybe just tacking a little Takes the lasers. Percent. Why not? Those lasers can be the difference between a kill and. Mike, you do a like, good job of getting 30% off those uh, scanning lasers, but oh, yeah. you would like to see him get a little bit more. Uh huh. Absolutely. Up air. We could up air. Barely misses the up air, but. Oh wow! Wow, no really, really, really nice using one. the platform to uh to get all the way up there. That's something that's so brutal about Battlefield. It's just how tall that platform is, that middle platform. Yeah, you can yeah. really just go up there and catch it. Absolutely. You know, Battlefield actually has a taller ceiling than FOD. Oh really? But a lot of the floaties, just barely. But a lot of the floaties still like FOD better because that top platform is way lower. Yeah. And the side platform. Yeah, it are makes way it a lot well. harder to kill. So you know, you're not going to be hitting up smashes that high relative to the ceiling. Where do you think? I'm guessing they banned Dreamland, so. Oh, well, no, we're in best of fives now, I think. Oh, so he, he's just going back. No, this is losers round two, so. Yeah. This is still gonna be uh, best of three. Getting some nice meaty down smashes there. You know, we didn't really see a whole lot of them in game one. Yeah, definitely putting on a lot of pressure in there. Yeah, seems to be playing a lot more aggressive. Oh wow, really, really and there you go. stock, yeah. Still though, he's Even though like, it's pretty even in percent, red seemed dominant that entire stock. And uh, yeah. No DI on the up throw, curtains. Back, back air, not quite oh, high enough. Barely outspaces it. Good float forward there. What I'm noticing sure uh, is that there. red often Firefox is high and uh, you know, tries to use the entire stage to, to kind of angle onto. And uh, yeah, Man definitely caught on to that, but uh, Mike G hasn't quite yet, it seems. Right, right, right. You know, it is a little bit better against Peach, too, because she just struggles to get high enough a lot of times. Yeah. Absolutely. So, Mike G is throwing out a flurry of hitboxes. Uh-huh. You know and what I mean? Red just not even falling for it. Going for, like, on laser damage. You, know, you may want to see him pull like a few more turnips. You know, if uh -huh. he's got that much room to be throwing out those hitboxes. Exactly. It might be better for him to just get a projectile. Oh, yeah, what a what a shot! What pressure! Yeah. You know, those giant. Oh, Peach, one of the hard characters to try and spike, but Red doesn't even care. Gets it anyway. Just doing them boxing things. Mm -hmm. 
So good down air, we're like working his way back in. See if he can finish this off. Yeah. Just barely uh, miss spacing those corners. Red doing a really good job getting back to stage. Mm -hmm. A little soft in there. Respectable. Alright, he's gotta finish this off. Yeah. So Wix decided to still turn away to get him to turn around for a back air opportunity. Not quite working out. You know, Mike G, he was doing that a lot in teams when we were playing earlier. He likes to be you know, out of shield or just in general as like an anti-air sure you can type thing. Quick 2 but yeah. yeah I mean, and it did not work for him. Yeah, it didn't. One, really. But, oh no, that was losers. So Mike G unfortunately going to be eliminated for the tournament. Yeah. Uh, you know, good Red showing by on. him. Really good stuff from Red. Uh, solid play. So I don't know what loser round 2 gets you here. I'd imagine it's probably like 13. You know, just outside top eight from losers, something along those lines. Uh, and then Mike G getting fourth in doubles. Uh, him and K-Pan losing to Starlord and Esam in losers bracket uh, late last night. Uh, 